Com. Today marks the beginning of National Teacher Appreciation Week. CBS 6's Caroline Colburn breaks down new data that shows teacher pay here in the Commonwealth falls behind the rest of the country. You know, we can get an apple from the local grocery store. Educators are far greater than that. Paying teachers a competitive salary. That's how Dr. James Fetterman with the Virginia Education Association would like to see teachers celebrated this week. They are, they're truly in the trenches every day working, advocating for our students and their families and the communities in which they live. This comes on the heels of a new study that shows Virginia teachers' salaries are below the national average. The National Education Association estimates Virginia educators make around $63,000 a year. That's more than six grand below the country's average. And another study shows Virginia has the third least competitive teacher pay in the nation when compared to other fields that require a similar level of education. Unfortunately, not surprising. Christine Melendez has been a teacher in Chesterfield for eight years. She's also the president of the Chesterfield Education Association. I'm earning about $50,000, and that does sound great um, until you take into account everything we need to pay for, the taxes that get taken out, the health insurance that continues to increase. Um, I have never been able to live on my own in an apartment. So how do these educators think Virginia can fix this? It starts with implementing uh, competitive and attractive pay and benefits for all educators from preschool to college and beyond. Dr. Fetterman would like to see the state continue with its proposed House and Senate budgets. Those include 2% raises for support staff, especially when you consider inflation. But he says Governor Youngkin's budget does not include those increases. Teachers are making $3,644, that's 6.4% less than they did 10 years ago. Governor Youngkin is responding to the Education Association study, sending CBS 6 a statement that reads in part, quote, Governor Youngkin signed a 10% pay increase for teachers all across the Commonwealth, directed VDOE to pay bonuses to teachers in hard to staff positions, and proposed significant funding for retention and merit bonuses honoring Virginia's teachers. We've got to play catch up. And the, the, the investments that they give us right now, it's just, we're thankful it's just not enough. Now, Melendez adds that while collective bargaining is now legal in Virginia, you actually have to get approval from your local school board in order for your teachers to actually negotiate their contracts. It's a move the city of Richmond has made, but Chesterfield and others have not. In Richmond, I'm Caroline Colburn, CBS 6 News. Thank you, Caroline. And the Richmond School Board is holding a public hearing where you